today's Good Relations Conference was all about raising awareness in mental health and well-being. You know, we thought we would invite a, a captive audience from Queen Sport. Um, I think we had 14 or 15 different sports clubs represented here today. Um, and we just gave them a flavour of what our three governing bodies in Irish Football Association, Ulster Rugby and Ulster GEA, what we can offer um, with regards to help and support in programmes around mental health and mental well-being. It's been really interesting to see the the sheer volume of work in the first place that goes into uh, the three governing bodies and working as part of the Sport Uniting Communities programme to, to, to promote positive mental, uh, uh, mental health. I think partly we've got a responsibility to people that play the sport, um, but also that we use the platform that we've got to try and drive positive change. I think for such a long time there's been a um, there's been a real stigma uh, in uh, uh, in mental health, particularly in a um, in, in a pressured, high-profile professional sport environment. So um, it is right that we uh, that we take the opportunity to talk about it. I suppose the importance of the three organisations coming together to tackle the stigma around mental health is massive, you know, because it really cuts out there to a really wide audience and um, the message that it's okay to talk about this and what actually is far better to talk about your mental health um, and to normalise the conversation around mental health. Uh, what I was talking about today was uh, really based around how our player development programme uh, reinforces the, the development of a positive mental health uh, and the focus on, on well-being as well and uh, tend to explain the skills um, that we know players really need to display and be able to, to do on a day-to-day -day basis, manage the highs and the lows. I really enjoyed today, um, it was really useful and what I took away from it mainly was the use of appointing a wellbeing officer within the club. Um, I think that's something that we're going to implement in the future. Um, it's really important to be open with your feelings and how you deal with stressful situations, both in rugby and um, in my course I do dentistry, which is quite high pressure, and also rugby. We've been promoted this year, so we're at a higher league and it's a more competitive and it's a great environment to be in, but still stresses of the game can get to you sometimes. Just being more open with your teammates and your friends and peers and they'll all be there for you regardless. <laughs>